Julius today is one of the most recognizable names in Latin music. He is a man of many talents. Ruben Blades is a lawyer, a songwriter, a singer, uh, an actor, an activist, a community activist, and we're very glad to have you on Tiempo. Welcome. Thank you um, very much. Yeah. Let's talk first of all about your lyrics. Uh, your li you have been your lyrics have been describing uh, described as socially inspiring. You, you, your people have said that uh, you have changed salsa really because you have brought meaning to the to the music. Uh, what inspires in those lyrics? Okay, what what I did was that uh, for for some period of time the music was only seen upon as something that was. Um, geared to entertain exclusively. And it was localized in one area of the neighborhood, of El Barrio. See, what I did was, as a member of that barrio that went through a school, to a, through an education, what I did was that I took different themes that pertain more to the city, right? And it became an urban sound. So what I do is I write about the people that live in the cities in Latin America. Uh, I write about the Latin America ex uh, experience. And um, I get my inspiration from being part of the, the city. That's what I've been doing. My music, I, I classify it as urban music, urban Latin American sound. But it's not just Latin America, it's New York, too. There's, yes. There's a New uh, York sound in Well, here. exactly. It expanded uh, the experience of living in a city. That's why I like to refer to it as urban music, you know, the experience of living in a city. I write here about anything from the subway to... Uh, I'm thinking right now about the song Tiburon, which uh -huh. means shark, and some people right. have said that it's really meant to be the U.S. government you're talking about. Well, I'm talking about any type of government, any type of interference in the affairs of a nation, be it the Russians in Afghanistan, you know, or uh, the intervention uh, secret uh, that is uh, going on right now from, the, uh, from this government in Central America. It is not an attack on the United States as it is, you know, as, as uh, formed by its people and its idea of justice. It's an attack on a policy that I don't believe is representative of the uh, postulates of this country, which we all believe, you know, it's not being anti-American to criticize policies of the government that we think are wrong. Not only as many of us Latins, but many of the North Americans themselves. That doesn't mean we are anti-American. We're just, you know, concerned about these postulates of truth and justice to be kept because they feed us also. You know, that's why we're here because we, you know, we believe that those postulates uh, are true. So I also feel that it's our duty to talk about the misinformation that is going on about Latin America, to break the stereotypes about Latin America. You don't only do sense. that in your in your music. You also do that uh, when you perform. You give a little. Sometimes you give a little speech between sets, and uh, sometimes I try it's to explain. It's a little the controversial. Songs. Sometimes people are, may not be ready. Sometimes for uh, for a political speech when you, when they're going someplace to listen to salsa. That is, yeah, that has happened. But you see, the problem is that for one, we don't have any forums. You know, I myself don't think that it's the best place to go and talk to people that are having drinks and whatnot, you know, or are there to have a nice time or whatever. But I like to explain the motivations of my songs, and um, I also like to the stereotype of the classic drugged, uh, um, drunk, uh, all full of drink musician or whatnot, also to be laid to rest. And I never want to be offensive. I am very careful of what I say because I do not represent any political party or any specific line. You know, I don't go into that because I'm not a preacher and I do not have the truth. I say what I think to be true very, very carefully and very responsibly. As a lawyer, I also know my limitations, you know, and as a person, as a, as a human being, I know how far I can go. I'm not arrogant to think that I am the one who has the use of the truth. But I do like to talk to the audiences and get a little more closer to them. Talk about how far you can go. Let's change the subject a little bit here. You're going into the acting. In the, you're going to be a, an actor in a new movie that's co coming out, I believe, at the end of the summer. We recently had the producer and the director uh -huh. on this show, yeah. Manuel Arce and, and Leon Ichazo. Right. Uh, and the movie is Crossover Dreams. And it's yeah. all about a salsa singer. Right. So you play pretty much yourself, do you? Uh, not really, because, uh, see, Rudy has like a couple of strikes against him already in terms of not having enough preparation. Rudy is the main guy in the movie. Yes. And uh, the name of the movie is Crossover Dreams. Right. But it does reflect a desire 
you know, that we all have of being accepted in a society that tends to stereotype us. And we also all want to make it, see. It's a, it's a following of, the, of that American dream, you know, of making it in the other side, because you cannot make it on your own side. We have a clip from the movie, and I think we should take a look at it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From what I understand, what's happening here is that uh, your co-worker, your co-singer and on a group has died and yeah. you're mourning his death. Right, yeah. my mentor has died and I am, after deciding in a bar with my friend, <coughs> the musical director of the band, that I am not going to return to that scene again, I go to the rooftop and I pay my last tribute to him. I sing a song that we were supposed to have sung together and we couldn't because he died that evening and then his voice joins me in this. And in this movie, you uh, at this point decide to make a crossover into the American exactly. music industry. Right. And, and you yourself in real life have done this, are doing this because mm -hmm. you've scored this movie in English. Yes, we got. A, we don't have that many songs. We got like a couple of songs, you know, in English. In English yeah. I'd like to to work on a project that uh, that would um, make me use English also because I learned a lesson when I did Maestra Vida that a lot of my audience in New York that is based on American Latins, not Latin Americans, but American Latins, they don't understand a lot of the words that I use. And communication sometimes is, is not as good as I wish. When I listen to your music, I, I often say to myself, what, why can't they just translate the song like, uh, like Plastic or one of these other songs about the Plastic was a song he wrote about plastic people. Yeah. And why couldn't they just translate that and have the Latin music with uh -huh. the English lyrics? Okay. Why can't that work? Uh, it can work. The problem is that we will have to do like another version. You know, we have to work on a different version. So, but, I, but it's a very interesting, uh, it's a very interesting proposition and that's what I'm gonna try to do next time, you know, but without leaving my public. In other words, I would be doing maybe two albums, but one would be definitely in Spanish, mm -hmm. which is my main concern and that's what I do the best. And then another one in English, but with using the same, you know, sounds and whatnot, but in English, to bring about the understanding, like you said, yeah. Well, I really wish you luck because, uh, you, you know, you have already contributed such a great deal to Latin music, but in the future we hope that, that you can uh, come into the English market because I think that the English market deserves to know what, what it is that you're doing. And so, like Julio Iglesias is doing or right. trying to do right now, yeah. I think that there is a need for the Latin music industry yes. to break in and the Crossover Dreams is a movie that perhaps will inspire all of that. Yes, I'm very happy that we were part of that film. It's a Hispanic film done for everybody. It's a story about humans trying to make it. And uh, I really have a lot of faith in it. And I think it's the beginning of something very good. I want to thank you, by the way, of having me here. And I want to congratulate the people in ABC for having this program, because I think it's a, it was about time that somebody... Well, it's about tiempo. Si, señor. It's about tiempo. <laughs> thank, thank you very much for being here. Thank and you, Mia. let's turn to Ana. Next, community assistance.